He's a proper businessman. He's always on business. So I can see that. Like he's getting his business ready on business calls. Just sold ten houses. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one's there. Well, Kenny, it's always a pleasure to see you. Um, always a vibe. Always enjoy it. Um, firstly, I've got to say I saw the Beta, Beta Squad video yesterday. Um, I've got to say congratulations. Um, without spoiling too much, I guess, but. How did you manage to get through all the wings and stuff? I'll be honest, yeah, it was more of a mental game. I knew it was going to be hard. Yeah. I just, I had to firm it. And plus, I'm not too bad with spice. I think that's what gave right. me the edge as well, so. But you kind of like said the whole thing of like, I'm not too good with spice. Is that a way of throwing all the other guys off? Yes. Yeah. Mental game. Yeah. <laughs> you win everything here before the physical. Yeah. No, of course, of course. I mean, of course, that, what I was thinking in my head yesterday, because you took on the uh, hot wings, um, should it be you win against uh, my mate Nate on this Saturday, would you bet on him to take on a hot wing like you did as far as like, if he lo if he loses this Saturday, would you get him to uh, take on a hot wing as uh, punishment or something? Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know, because I'm thinking, obviously, you know, you had to take on the hot wings. So you had to go through a whole lot. So. That, uh, as in that's his punishment for losing. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I hear it, yeah. I mean, if he's down, yeah. 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 I mean, because you're sparring for uh, sparring footage we've been seeing, there's a lot more aggression. Obviously, you kept your intelligence throughout. You, that's one thing you've not uh, taken away. Um, obviously, with your fight last with uh, Ashley Raksu, at this point, does it bring more of the animal in you in terms of like going through this tournament? You've got my mate Nate first. Does that bring more of the animal in you? Is that, uh, you know, something more to prove at this point for you? Yes. So obviously, um, uh, well, my last fight didn't go the way I, I wanted it to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, we looked at that fight. We've looked at where we went wrong. We're improving. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a fire in me that I just yeah. want to perform this Saturday, man. I'm ready. I'm fit. I'm ready to go. I can't wait to get in the ring. I saw your face-to-face um, -face with my mate, mate yesterday. Yes. Um, and compared to all your opponents that you faced in the past, yeah. And uh, oh, he's doing tricks with his cap. No, no, um, <laughs> I was stretching. I was <laughs> with all your all your previous opponents that you faced, what do you see different in terms of my mate Nate out of everyone that you faced before? Like, how how does he how does he compare to everyone else that you faced before? Um, that's a good question. I would say he he hasn't fought compared to my other opponents, except from Temper, because that was obviously his debut. Sure. He hasn't fought anyone good. And obviously he's been fighting in 16 ounce gloves. And with head guards as well. Head guards. So I think that makes a big difference in terms of experience. Yeah. But he knows how to fight. But when you're getting in there with 10 ounces, yeah. and it's a fight fight, yeah. it's different, bro. Yeah. It's very different. It's a different ball game. It's different, man. Yeah, it's very different. Because um, I saw the Insta story that um, my mate Nate put up. Um, he was doing his sparring and you literally then replied with like just the yawn, yawn emojis. Are you, I, you know, like Daly and you said, like you're not looking at over anybody, but from looking at that, you were just like, really? No, that was just me building hype. You know, you know ah, how the game is. Yeah, I, got a, I got to build the fight because obviously I got another nice guy. Yeah. So I need to do something to oh, build sorry. the fight. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, that's no, cool. But yeah, um, got, yeah, go on. Yeah, but I got to build the fight in it. Yeah, yeah. Of um, you, you said of Gibb and Tom, so Tom Zanetti being your second in rankings and Gibb third in rankings. So do you expect for you um, the semi-final and the final, should you win against my mate Nate, to be those guys? Um, so obviously you rank, you rank Tom Zanetti second and you rank Gibb third. Would you expect Tom Zanetti to be in, in the semi-final with you and Gibb to be in the final with you? I'd expect L to be in the finals with me because I put her number one. <laughs> Oh yeah, I saw her comment that she said like, uh, you know, she had the angry emojis in there. I was like, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll have you and El go. Cause you put her right at the top. Is that a way of like, you know, not putting yourself in the, the rankings? No, nah, that's just me playing. Um, I think, who, who do I see realistically going to the finals? Probably Gibb. Mm. Gibb's obviously the favorite. Mm. And then second in line, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but I think Zanetti has the chance to pull uh, an upset mm. because Jarvis, he hasn't fought in 10 ounces before. Yeah. And, you know, Zanetti is a scrapper. Yeah. It's a bit overwhelming for someone who hasn't, is not used to fighting in those gloves in that environment. Mm. So I think, obviously, if he's trained well, he should be able to fight well. But it's, it's different, man, once you're in there. Because yeah. obviously, he gave slim problems. He's had a lot yeah. of fights. People overlook that. That's why I think Zanetti has the chance to pull an upset. So... It would be between Gibb, Jarvis and Zanetti. Them, them three would be in the finals, one of them. And then, um, of course, obviously, like, you know, preparing for this Saturday. Um, you know, it, it seems like you guys are, you guys are ready. Um, you know, what, 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 you expect, what are we expecting for Saturday as far as, in, like, your performance in the rings, in, in terms of general? Sorry, I, I, lost my, no, no, I, lost my, I lost my thought of training thought for a second there. But what are you thinking? 
Uh, just letting my hands go with intelligence, more volume, and most importantly, giving uh, you know the fans, the crowd, an entertaining fight. No one wants to see for like for like five rounds. Yeah. So you know, going in when I have to, uh, and if I see an opening, yeah. if I see the opportunity to take him out, I'll do it. I'll take it. And uh, finally, you talked about uh, you know we talked about Tyson Fury the last interview that we did, and obviously you uh, you were in the ring with him. Like you did a fa some sort of a face off. You like see him as an ally now. Could we expect him to be, you know, allying you for the Saturday, maybe? I know he's a busy guy, but could you just give him a call and just say, like, yo, come? He's a busy guy. Yeah. He's a very busy guy. I wish I could just call him and be like, come down to my fight. But I think he's, um, I think he's training at the moment for a, a fight coming up. Yeah. So, yeah, he's busy. He's busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, to have, have him as an ally, that, that would be a great thing for you, yeah. Yeah, because he's got all the experience in the world. There's so yeah. many tips and tricks tricks you will learn from someone yeah. who's, been, who's been in the game for so long. Yeah. Just chilling with him for, like... Half an hour was great. I learned so much. Without giving too much away, uh, finally, um, you know, with Tyson Fury, like, you know, what was it like just to have a chat with him? You know, what was the vibe like in general when you were in the ring with him doing that face-off photo, so it seemed? It was very welcoming. Yeah. Um, I, I had him watch a few of my fights, yeah. and he was telling me what to improve on, where I did good. Uh, he was giving me tips, stuff that I can do in training as well. Um, yeah, and he was giving me fighters to watch where he was like, this kind of fighter you should watch because that's your style. He yeah. knew straight away what style would work for me. So, yeah. you know, it was, good, it was good talking to him. It, he, like, it felt like he actually cared. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And then Daly's always there for you. Like, exactly, we're, just seeing, yeah. we're just seeing you in the ring, like, train. And, and funny enough, like, a lot of the things that Tyson Fury was telling me, mm. Daly already does in the gym. Right. So that just shows what level, like, we're at in the training. Yeah. So that, 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 that was a good uh, testament to Daly's training. Yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, my mate Nate and you. Uh, it's always a pleasure to chat with you, and I know it's going to be entertaining as the week goes on. So yeah. I know you've got more famous shit to do, so I'm going to leave you to it. But um, always a pleasure, brother. All right.